Hey y'all, so I have successfully installed the crown molding in, in uh, most of the rooms. Um, I did, this is the one that I, I did this one exactly how I had planned, but this room down here, I did it a little differently. I didn't feel like um, putting the crown molding across that, that uh, long front piece, so I just used a piece of wood that I'm just gonna paint. And this one, since this is a kitchen, I didn't really want the crown molding in here. So I did this one differently. I just like kind of, I glued it to the ceiling. Um, so this room is incomplete and I'm going to show you guys how I did the crown molding and how I cut it and how you make 45 degree angles and stuff like that. All right. So for what I am doing for the installation of my situation, your situation might be a little different. You might need something different, but here are the supplies that I'm using. You need crown molding, okay? You need some glue, pencil. I'm gonna be using these um, clamps to secure my uh, crown molding and this. This is an invaluable tool. Like, I love, I love this. Um, you can use other stuff, but this, I'm gonna show you how to do it using this because it's, you know, it's easy and effective. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna get the hard part done and cr cut the crown molding. So as you can see, the piece of crown molding that I have here is longer than the, um, the room, okay? That's what you want. That way you have opportunity to make mistakes because you will make mistakes, probably. Um, I do all the time. So one thing that I do that I find helpful is having scrap pieces of crown molding, okay? That way you can cut these and you can figure out what direction the angles um, need to be in. So for this application, the back wall, all the way back there with the windows, the angles are gonna be just like this on, on, on both sides, okay? So I, I know that, I have this piece. So what that means is, this piece right here needs to connect with this right here, right? And this piece on this side needs to connect with this side. So what you can do is you take your, your uh, miter cutter, okay? And you adjust this according to what you need here. So we're using 45 degree angles. So let's take it, put it on a 45 degree side and we're gonna figure out, okay, this is how you gotta do it. It needs to be turned around like this. So for this side, it needs to be cut this way. So what that tells me is for the opposite side, this side over here, I can cut that like this. So if I sit it down like this, this is how I need to sit it on my miter saw with the back facing this way. I'm gonna sit this one on here the same exact way, okay? And then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, and now we're gonna test it out. So it's gonna go like this for this back wall and like this for this left wall. And that's exactly what we needed to do, okay? So now that we know how to position the crown molding on our miter cutter, we know that since we did the left side using the 45 degree angle turn this way, we're gonna do the right side using the 45 degree angle turned the opposite way, okay? So we're gonna take that We're gonna place it on here the same way that we placed the other one on there, okay? And we're gonna cut. Wait, first of all, I need to do that again because it's not straight. Okay, so we're gonna place that down on here like that and we're gonna cut it, okay? And we are going to see, where is my piece at? Here it is, okay? And let's see if that's the right way. 
It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's the wrong way. I think I was supposed to do the other side. So let's see. All right, now let's see. Is that right? Okay, so when doing the right side, this is hard, okay, because I keep messing it up. It needs to be facing towards us, okay? The, the crown molding needs to be facing towards us. I hope that makes sense. Like, all right, hold it, cut it. We need to cut it up a little higher because we already messed it up. All right, so that should do it. That should do it right there. upside downwards okay all right and there we go that's what that's what we got to do so now since we have this piece done and this piece done okay we have those pieces done now we got to take this piece that's gonna go on the back um, so first thing we're gonna do is this side needs to be cut exactly like this, okay? So we're gonna look at our miter saw, our miter cutter, and figure out how it needs to be placed. It needs to be placed like this. It needs to be placed with the facing us like that, okay? So I'm gonna set this on here, just like that, and I'm gonna cut it, okay? So that's one side. The other side, we're gonna turn our thing around to the other opposite 45 degree and we're gonna see how it needs to be sitting on the thing. It needs to be sitting like this, okay? So that's how we're gonna do this side. But first, we have to measure it. So since we already made one cut, we're gonna put this up on here, okay? And we're gonna measure it. doesn't have to be perfect because we can use wood filler, okay? Okay, so again, this is the side that we need to cut over here, and it needs to lay down on the thing this way, okay? So, we can do that with this. Put it on there, line up that dot. I can see the dot, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I can see it pretty good. Okay, line that up and cut. Okay. Wait a minute, that does not look right. That don't look right, that's wrong. That's not right at all. All right, y'all, I'm back. Listen, we have all three of our pieces and I can't explain to you how to do this because that's why you need to have extra pieces, okay? And you need to have um, a little like template, like guide type of thing so you can know exactly how to position your stuff on this thing because I had that and I still messed up three times. So. Luckily, I have extra crown molding and everything is cool. So, um, we're about to just put this up on here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is this goes, this goes this way, okay, with the longer end pointing down, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I need to put this on first, okay. 
So that means I need to take that tape down that's right there. And the way I'm gonna glue it is, I'm just gonna glue it to the wall. I'm not gonna glue it to this, okay? Because that defeats the whole purpose. I wanna be able to slide this out if I want to. Why, I don't know. I don't know what, what reason I would have to need to slide this out, but that's neither here nor there, okay? I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue this on one side instead of both sides. Just on one side, straight onto the back wall. So we're going to let that dry um, forever because like I probably let it dry at least like overnight. Like it's no rush just to make sure that this, um, you know, that this glue is dry because you don't want to go through all of that and then take it, take the stuff down and it's not dry and everything falls down. Like, so just be patient, put it up there. And once it's dry, I will show you. Well, you already know what it looked like. It's going to look like this. Okay, and then how you see like it's like a gap right there, that can just be filled with some wood filler or something. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I would prefer if it's perfect, but perfection is very difficult when it comes to this crown molding. So I um, have learned to pick my battles. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.